If you are using a Start9 server or running Start OS and you would like to change from Bitcoin Core to Bitcoin Knots, then this is how you do it. I would like to show you something inside of Bitcoin Core before we begin. In the configuration file, under Advanced, under Mempool, you will see here a setting for max op return size and it's defaulted to 83 bytes. So this controls how much non-payment data your node will relay. Right now, you get to decide that by editing your config, but there's a proposal to remove this setting entirely. If that happens, your node would automatically relay any valid transaction. So that means any amount of arbitrary data inside the block. These op return transactions are sometimes called false monetary transactions because they don't move money, but still take up space on layer one. Removing the setting would take away a layer of control node operators currently have. So to begin, we're going to stop Bitcoin Core and we're going to go to our system settings. This word manage, you wanna click it five times one, two, three, four, five. Dev tools unlocked. We are now in secret developer mode. Under marketplace, you're going to change from the start nine registry into the community registry. Under the Bitcoin tab, you're going to see that Bitcoin knots looks like it's already installed. And this is actually a little bit of a hack by the start nine team so that your software thinks that it's actually running both implementations at the same time so you won't actually have to re-download the entire blockchain and you can seamlessly switch between one and the other very easily what you're going to do click on reinstall for bitcoin knots so you'll see here we need to configure and your rpc settings will be transferred over from bitcoin core but it's always a good idea to double check that for me it's exactly the same and i do want to show you here under mempool the data carrier is the op return bitcoin knots is not as widely used as bitcoin core but it is built on the exact same code base it has a stronger focus on policy control and keeping the base layer of bitcoin clean and efficient you can see here the default data carrier size is set to 42 bytes. Knots is leaning towards a more conservative spam policy where it still does support some op return, but the default limit is much smaller. And the idea is being that the base layer should mostly carry monetary transactions, not random data. At this point, it's really up to you as a node runner to understand your role in the network. The settings you choose, the policies you run do matter. And with with proposals on the table to remove settings like this entirely, now is the time to get informed and decide what kind of node you want to run. Remember, we are what makes Bitcoin decentralized. Your node isn't just connecting to the network, it is the network. Click save and you're going to start Bitcoin Knots. It's gonna take a couple seconds. You may need to restart any lightning implementations that you have. And just like that, everything is back up and running and Bitcoin Knots is here. Start9 has some of the best docs and one of the most helpful communities out there. If you're running your own node, you're in great hands. But I know sometimes it's just nice to have someone visually walk you through things. So if there's something you want help with or a tutorial you'd like to see, drop it in the comments. I've got you. Oh, and I'm Satashi, your friendly neighborhood node runner. Stay sovereign and have a great day.